Hey everyone, Sandwich Face here with another installment of the SRB2 Trash Bin. Yeah, I know I'm a week late in the whole video thing, but god damn have I been busy recently. I've had literally no time to work on anything, like, at all. It sucks. But, I finally found enough time to pump out a video. So, this week's Trash Bin subject is another short level pack I found on the message board. The pack in question is The Exiled Island by XNP3570. And right now it's a demo consisting of two zones. I've decided to keep introductions short this week, so let's dive right into this pack and see what awaits us within. Alright, first up is... Hey, look at that! This level pack has a story. Basically, it takes place after the events of Vanilla SRB2, and we have to stop Eggman on a new island called Southside Island. It's a very basic story, but you don't really need anything more for something like this, honestly. I guess it's time to go stop Dr. Eggman and his badniks. Er... Banix, sorry. Anyway, first up is Sapphire Valley Zone, Act 1. Well, what I can tell you right away is that this level is very cramped. It's very small, and there's not much to see outside of the beaten path. Also, can I talk about just how much I hate it when SRE2 levels design path splits like this? I always end up going in a big loop when levels do forks like this, and it's just about the worst way to do path splits in an SRE2 level. It's very lazy and uninspired to do a path split that just forks off and rejoins so blatantly. It's very unnatural and doesn't flow well at all, and like I said earlier, it's bound to cause a lot of confusion and backtracking with first-time players. As for my final thoughts on this level, it's... basic. And short. This emblem over here is also pretty free. Alright, let's move on. Sapphire Valley Zone Act 2 is a nice change of pace from Act 1, as the level design opens up considerably here. However, it still has a number of issues. For one, it suffers from another SRB2 pet peeve of mine, which is putting water over a death pit. What's the point of having water here then? Just have the death pit if you just want to kill me that badly. Having water here makes me think there's an alternate underwater path or some kind of safe ground down there. The water only serves to mislead you. Damn! Alright, let's try that again. Wait. How the hell did I turn myself around? Oh, looks like somebody's checkpoints aren't facing the right way. This is probably a little more than just a developer oversight, but it's really annoying to have to turn myself around every time I die in this level. Overall, it's better than Act 1, but it's still very far from what I'd call good. And to finish off Sapphire Valley Zone, Act 3 is a simple battle against the Egg Zapper. That's it, really. Nothing special or interesting to note here other than these annoying pools of water on the sides of the arena. They don't really serve any purpose other than to waste your time, so don't fall on them. Alright, let's move on to the next zone. The next zone, Wasteland Factory Zone, opens up with this cutscene explaining the different kinds of slime contained within it. It also says Eggman makes chemical weapons here, which may or may not be considered a war crime. So that's pretty neat. Anyway, as stated in the opening cutscene, Wasteland Factory contains a bunch of different types of slime. Purple slime is your standard Techno Hill slime, orange slime is bouncy, yellow slime drains rings, red slime suffocates you, green slime is harmful to the touch, and blue slime kills you. Act 1 makes decent use of the different slime types, although I think the presence of instant death hazards in a Sonic level is really dumb regardless, because what's the point of having rings as health if you have a hazard that ignores them, but I digress. Anyway, outside of the slime gimmick, Act 1 isn't all that interesting. The platforming and level visuals are incredibly basic and aren't too interesting. Time for Act 2. Act 2 is referred to as a concept demo by the game, and it definitely shows. This act introduces crushers and conveyor belts to the mix, but outside of that, I can't say this level is all that interesting. However, this first room here with turrets over a pit of blue slime is pretty bad. Turrets are annoying enough already, and having them in a room with no cover filled with an instant death hazard is pretty overkill if you ask me. And that's really it. Because this level is unfinished, there's really not much to it. But let's not dwell on an unfinished product and finish this video off with Wasteland Factory Zone Act 3, which is a boss fight against the Egg Slimer. The fight takes place in a circular arena surrounded by blue slime, when while I do understand what the author was going for here, there's a major flaw with the boss's design at the present moment. When the Egg Slimer enters its pinch phase and starts bouncing around, he usually ends up bouncing backwards into the blue slime and kills himself almost immediately. This makes an already easy boss even easier, and while I do find that really funny, it doesn't make for a very satisfying boss. And that's it for the Exiled Island, or at least what exists of it at the present moment. While I think it's a decent start for someone's first level pack, it definitely has a number of glaring issues. The levels tend to be pretty uninspired, sticking very closely to the level themes present in the vanilla SRA2 campaign and doesn't really stray far from them. 
It also has an annoying oversight with the checkpoints not facing in the right direction, leading to a lot of confusion. I guess my final remarks to the creator would be to try and be more creative with your level design. It's boring to stick to the same level themes and tropes that the vanilla campaign uses, because at that point all you're making is worse SRB2. Put your thinking cap on and think of some ways you could put an interesting new spin on these old and tired ideas, or think of something totally unconnected to anything already present in SRB2 and try to make something out of that. Think outside the box, not within it. Anyway, that'll be it for this episode of the SRB2 Trash Bin. Yeah, I know this was pretty short, but again, I haven't had much time to do videos recently. But do not worry, I've got another video coming up that I started last week but haven't gotten around to finishing, and it's a bit longer than this one. It covers an interesting topic that I don't think many people have really gone into regarding SRB2. Well, I guess that'll be it for today. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and join the Trashbin Central Discord linked in the description down below. Well, I hope you all had a nice Thanksgiving if you celebrate that holiday, and uh, see you next time!